Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for How you gonna move for What you gonna be And do you believe As you saw in the footage in the beginning, I went all the way back to my trip back home to Virginia when I visited family for Christmas. So you met some of my family. So I did it in a snippet movie type thing. Um, I've been sick guys. I've been sick for a minute. Um, I had acute bronchitis, so I barely been posting. I didn't have a chance to do the video. I got, I was sick before I went on my cruise, right after I came back from Virginia in December for Christmas. I got sick then, and by the time I got back from my cruise, um, I felt better on the cruise, so don't get me wrong, I wasn't up there sick, coughing, hacking, none of that. Okay, <laughs> I guess I thought I fought the cold and I took the medicine and I was good and I went on the cruise. When I came back, it was kind of, it was really cold in Florida. I was like, what? So it was cold getting off the ship. And I don't know if it's the, the change of the temperature because I went to, the I, I did a Western Caribbean cruise um and you will see a separate video on that probably next week it's not going to be me doing a lot of talking i'm going to just show you about the cruise and tell you the highlights but um and then when i got back from the cruise it just hit me um i didn't have covid or anything like that i actually had um like i said acute bronchitis and it's from me being sick but, you know, you can do so much for a cold until it becomes worse. And I am getting up there in age, so I can't just think my body is always going to fight colds. It didn't. Um, I'm hoping I don't have a coughing fit now. Really, truly, I'm trying not to. So it's kind of hard. So you're going to see a combination in this video because I haven't been up here in so long. I just want to go ahead and give you some highlights of what's happening. Well... Let's talk about a few things. You know, I said I was going to change things in 2023, and I am. Um, it's going to be a lot about me trying to get out into the world as much as possible before they put me under the ground, honey, because you never know when your day is. So I'm trying to do as much as possible. I feel like I've been in lockdown for so long, and I'm not even talking about COVID. I'm talking about lockdown, period. Uh, since my divorce, it feels like I'm just in limbo. And I've been divorced almost six years now. And it just feels like I'm in limbo. Like I'm still um, attached but not attached, if that makes sense. But we're going to talk a lot about that throughout my videos now. My videos, I'm trying to make them a little more substance, a little more about me, a little more one-on-one -on -one conversations, a little more of us women talking, honey. I'm even revamping my whole blog. It's not going to be about fashion and style. It's going to be about life. And I'm going to put a lot of things I'm feeling as a woman on my blog. So in February, you will see a new blog. If you've been following my blog at all, or if you ever read my, my blog, uh, I'm not a professional writer at all. All I can do is put my thoughts down and put what I feel and what I think. That is what your platform is for. 
Um, no longer is it a platform only for professional writers, professional people. It's for you. So um, in February, my blog will be revamped and I'm going to do a lot more writing. So what do I have for you today? Well, besides my Christmas highlights where you met some of my family, uh, it's nothing in detail. You see, it was very short and sweet. Uh, but you will, throughout time that I travel, meet more of my family, of course. Um, my cruise was great. I lost a lot of money. I did a lot of drinking. I had a lot of fun. And that's why I go on a cruise. So make sure you look at my next video because I'm going to talk all about my free carnival cruise. But right now, let's catch up, guys. So... I, like I said, I've been sick, but I told you before I went on my last video that I had packages that were coming in. So one of the things that I'm going to do is from February to June, I'm having a no buy. I'm not buying anything. I'm going to do everything directly from my closet. I have a lot of stuff and I did a clean out while I was sick. Um, since you can't be around nobody, I wasn't going to work. I was mostly working from home. I have, a, I did two of the biggest bags of clothes. I'm talking about the big, not your regular trash bags. I'm talking about the big body bags of things that I'm going to give to Goodwill. Because I want someone else to get the opportunity to buy. Because, you know, I had things that I just wasn't wearing. And I'm not doing that anymore. And I am going to wear my stuff. So if I'm not, if I didn't wear it or wasn't going to wear it, or I know I'm trying to hold on to it for no reason, decluttering not only frees you of junk, decluttering shows you what you no longer, what's no longer your style or what you no longer want to wear. So get rid of that stuff, guys. Um, so since I'm doing a no buy from February to June, and that's a long time for me when I tell you that. Now, when I say no buy, I'm not talking about essentials, guys. I'm not talking about things that you need, your beauty products that you may need, a uh, refresh of your uh, uh, beauty items, face cream, all that stuff. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about clothes, shoes, bags, hats, you know, things that I normally keep buying. No more. So you will see me wear my closet. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you some things that I have purchased before I left that came in. And um, my birthday gift to myself, I purchased that to make sure that I purchased it before February the 1st. Because on February the 1st to June 1st, there is no buy. I got a hat from Lack of Color. It is there in their DLC line. And it is, I guess it's a new line of, because uh, see, I got it from Lack of Color. But it is in their new line, and it says this on the front. And what I got was, you know, I'm obsessed with hats. I got me a new, um, what do you call these hats? sailor hat type thing but look at the color this beautiful tan that can go with anything and it will make it will make any casual look look wonderful please follow my instagram guys because what i'm gonna start doing is doing a whole lot of styling on instagram and since i'm doing a no buy I'm going to show you some of the things I got, remind you of when I bought it or when I purchased it so you can see me actually wear these things. So I want to wear them. I don't care if I'm going to work dressed up. I'm going to the store dressed up. I am going to wear my clothes that I purchased, but I wasn't wearing it enough. So that hat is one of those things. Next. I got some stuff from Zara. Hey, what y'all been watching? Listen, Criminal Minds, I've told you and I hope you've been watching it. It is so good. It is so good. Um, 
And I'm watching the new series on HBO Max called, uh, is it The Last of Us or Some of Us? I'll put it right here. That's new. Um, it's a new take on zombie apocalypse. So I can't wait to see the next series. I think it's two, two episodes in. Um, so check that out because I've been watching that. So Zara had their sale. So I got this from Special Pricing. I am so into skirts. So you're going to see me style skirts a lot more. And I love the colors of this skirt. It can take you into spring as well. Even though it is, it has all the fall winter colors, you could still wear it in spring. And um, it has a shirt that went with it, but I didn't want the shirt because I have plenty of shirts that can go with this skirt and plenty of shoes that I got to match it. So it's so cute. You know I have an obsession with bodysuits, guys. You already know I do. Look at this bodysuit that has the smiley face on it. And it says Smiley Originals. And it has um, the same thing going down the sleeve. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. It's got the same thing going down the sleeves. The red, the yellow, it just, look, and the smiley face is going down the sleeves as well. This is going to be so cute in the spring. It is sheer, so, um, of course, I wouldn't wear it to work, but I would just put me on a, a cute little bralette under it and let the bralette show, and this is so adorable. I decided to get a little fancy for y'all. It's been so long since I put some makeup on, and guys, let me tell you. You remember I told you that uh, I'm playing around with doing my own hair, braiding my own hair. I hope you can see it um, real good, but um, I'm never paying nobody else to braid my hair. I braided my hair for the trip. When I tell you it was the easiest thing in the world, all I had to do was, it was hot, so all I had to do was put my hair up and um or have it down whichever way i wanted to and you know my hair is very thin so i didn't i didn't want a whole bunch of hair i didn't want to make it look like i had so much on my head i make my braids more like little plaits and i love it guys and i am never paying anyone else i paid 18 dollars for the hair and I did my own hair. No more $150 to pay anybody. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so Savage X Fenty. I don't know if you caught this, guys. And I've been saving it. They had their bras and stuff on sale. Now, so this is what I did. You know, I'm wrong, but I did it anyway. I joined the club. Because you can't get it without the special pricing. I joined it. Waited for my stuff to come, then I unjoined. Sure it is. Um, so the first thing I got was this purple faux leather bra. <coughs> Look at it, guys. Can you imagine this under a blazer or under a um a nice shirt that you have open a little so that you can see the bra or even under something like a sheer top and you just have this bra under it with the leather look and you know purple is my favorite color so I had to do it in purple instead of black nice right so I got that and I got the I didn't want bottoms to go with it. I just wanted the bras. And the next one I got was the um, suede. The mustard colored suede bra with the um, tie in the front and the lace. 
Look at that. So nice. Can't wait to put those on. I bought them specifically to, you have your bras that you wear to work, your everyday bras, but I am starting to buy bras that I want to wear if I'm wearing something that's a little sheer and I want the bra to show. I think that is a sexy look if it's done right. It is very, very sexy at any age. Very sexy. All right, so those are the items I bought in the sales that came. The second thing is I have, um, and I wanted to show you the live sale. You know, I do a lot of, boy, they gonna miss me in the thrift live sales. I bought two more items, I think, uh, that's coming. So don't forget, I still have until January 31st, which is my birthday. I have until then to purchase anything that I'm gonna purchase because of that long stretch of no buy. So one of the things I got was this bag. I thought this was the cutest little structured backpack bag. I haven't wiped it off yet. It's got a lock here and it opens up like this and it's very structured. It looks good on the inside. And then the straps is what you put here in the back because it is an actual book bag. Can you imagine how very, very cute this is? And you see stuff like this all the time on sale at uh, for uh, YSL has one. Everybody, Chanel, everybody has one of these bags. Um, and I got mine as a thrift item. I love how structured and pretty it is. And this will look so cute with a cute little uh, outfit that is, you can elevate the outfit by having the book bag, a pair of jeans, some pumps, and a t-shirt. Or if you have on something that is like a suit and you want to wear a, you don't want to wear a big bag, you just want to wear um, this as a book bag or you can carry it like this as well. Oh man, this was a steal. <clears throat> and I got another bag that I thought was fun, cute, and I will bring out every uh, winter and spring. <laughs> Let me show you guys. This is the cutest thing ever. Look at this. It's felt, you know that felt? um material that's what this is it is felt but it gives you that hermes uh feel um and it's green and pink it has feet at the bottom and when you zip it unzip it she has it really stuffed which is great and in the inside is pink as well. It looks like it's never been used. It's never been used. It's one of them bags that is a a uh, a talking piece, right? Um, that people would be like, "What?" And it is durable because it's felt, and you can bring this out winter and into your springtime as well. And it is a fun bag. I love it. Next, I got um, some sunglasses. These are vintage um, Liz Claiborne glasses. And you know that vintage look has those big wide rim and um, big wide lens. Look at these. everything okay i'm getting okay all right earring what's happening look at these liz came on and they purple you can't you probably can't tell but when i'm outside with them on these are purple so you know i had to get these um also let me see what else have i been up to <coughs> Um, I just did a, uh, I felt so good today that I also did my 
um, birthday looks. I'm going to um, where you could choose which birthday look looks the best. So um, I'll give you a little preview here. Um, so I am turning 59 and all, right around the corner from the big 6-0, which I am trying to plan a trip for my 60th birthday. And if I can't go to Dubai or Paris like I want to, it's either going to be one or the other. If I do not get a chance to do that, um, and I can't do it until after my 60th, I might have to do it on my 61st, uh, then I did get a free cruise again, but this time staying in a suite, and I've never stayed in a suite on a cruise before. The last one was for a balcony, and that's the first time I stayed on a balcony. Um, so either I'm going to do that, I just don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I got this hat, guys. Look at this. I'm going to see if I can put it on. Oh, I got my bun. So, I can't put it on, but imagine. So, you caught this to the side. This is a vintage hat. Oh, it is so... Look at the colors. Look at the colors in this hat. The sparkle. You know I am obsessed with hats. So I have to start wearing my hats. I have plenty of hats, but you never see me wear them. So, like I said, check out my Instagram. You will see me starting to wear my things. And if you are an older woman, or even if you want, you might still like my style. If you are an older woman, um, I show you how you can still be stylish. Um, everyday wear. See, you got people who show you how to be stylish luxury wear where everybody can't afford luxury clothes so i show you thrifting or you know budgeting or how you can still look stylish without breaking the bank uh also if you um like i have a stomach so if you have a stomach a fupa whatever i show you outfits that you can wear um and i don't always put on shapewear with it and I show you how you can wear it and still look very, very put together. And let me see. I think the last thing. Oh, wait. I, I won. Okay, so um, she the live sale that I joined. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Wow. The live sale that I joined had giveaways. And I wanted to show you the bracelets that I won in the giveaway. So the first one is this Amos and Annie, I think that's what they call it, uh, bracelet. So you see it's got the, you know what these bracelets are. You've seen them uh, lots of times. So I won that one. And this one to me looks like a Tory, Tory Birch bracelet. You see it? So I won that one as well. That's going to be really, that looks really nice. So um, I won that bracelet as well. So you'll see me style this. Uh, probably when I do my, because I'm going to do a um, accessories video of just me styling accessories and different looks. Because I have a lot of jewelry. And I want to show you how I will wear the jewelry and how I will accessorize it to make the outfit look better. So, see, those are the type of things that I'm going to show you. And it's all going to be shopping my own closet. So, the last thing is, guys, look at this hat. This is also a vintage hat. And you know I got an obsession with fur. I mean feathers. I'm talking about fur. Um, So... Oh, I wish I could put it on, but imagine, <coughs> imagine this on, look at this hat, and it's tan and black, so it will go with so many things, look at this, so sexy, yes, 
So I also got that hat. So guys, that's the last of the things that I had to come in. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine this video with, even though the next one I do will probably be in June or July. Um, remember I told you I was going to start testing fragrances by buying the discovery set or whatever little sample set they have to see if I ever want to get the perfume or to buy one. I did the Tiziazi Terenzi, Tiziana Terenzi. Make sure you look at that video um, because that is one that a lot of YouTubers wear and I wanted to get the samples and I told you about the ones that smell good to me and I actually be wearing them and um, pairing them with my perfumes. So I'm getting, a, and you think you won't get a lot of wear out of ones that are samples, but for real, they are gonna last me a while because I have other perfumes. So I, I either try to mix them together or I wear a, a one or two squirts of the sample one. And it's a little bigger than a sample, of course, but it's gonna last you. And you get to try them all. So I just think it's a wonderful thing. So I'm going to combine that today with this video. So that we can get all caught up. So which one did I get guys? I got. Let me get the information out. Oh wait. I got one more thing to show you. It is a beauty item. I forgot about this. I wanted to try the Elemis. I heard a lot about Elemis. I wanted to try the Elemis Sea Lavender and um, Sapphire Body Cream. It comes in this blue um, container. And it's supposed to be a good body cream. So I want to try it to let you know um, how it is. Um, so when I do my beauty segment, I have a lot of beauty things I want to talk about and new skin things that I've been trying. It has a, um, the smell is like something that I definitely, if I got out a nice hot tub and I wanted to lotion myself down, that's what this smells like. But I'm going to try it out. And when I do my beauty segment, I'm going to show you and tell you all about how I feel about it. So I wanted to try that. Okay, so let's get down to it. So I got the Lalabo um, Discovery Set. So Lalabo, uh, New York. I got the Discovery Set and I know you heard people talk about this. And you can get it personalized with your name or dates or anything like that. So I bought it. And guys, why did it come not only with some samples, but why did it ask? It told me to go ahead and and uh, put in what I wanted to put on my bottle. And I'm like, wait, I'm getting a discovery set. Okay, so what I put on it was uh, Danita 2022. So that's what I wanted on it. And they put it on, let me see. Let me see if it focused on it. They put it on the box at the bottom. So I can save this discovery set and actually have the name. Or what, I could have put anything on it, but I wanted to put my name in 2022 on it. Ain't that something, guys? I'm like, wow, okay. And they gave me a sample that came in the bag right here. And it has Lilabo on it. And I'm just opening this, guys. I've had it for a while uh, before I went on vacation. So they gave me a sample of their face scrub. Um, I didn't even know they had a face scrub. So uh, on the site... On the site, they have so many different things. So there's the scrub. And then they gave me a sample of Fleur de Orange 27. So I guess this is one that was not in the discovery set. Um, so they gave me a true sample of that. 
So see, that is a true sample. So let me see how this smells. Oh, that's got a, a um, let me put it on my arm. That has a, um, <clears throat> like a unisex smell to me. It's like a, um, uh, like one of those ocean smells. Yeah, like by the seaside. I don't know how to explain it. Um, that's what that smells like. Okay, so let's get into it. The first one I got is another 13. So this is what the bottle looks like. So it comes in a spray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get um, something to, spray all these on. So I'm not wasting a spray, honey. You know, I told you that. I'm not gonna keep wasting a whole bunch of spray. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do just a little spray. It's a little spray. So this one is another 13. Oh man, I smell that already. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh man. This another 13 smells delicious. Let me see, do they have what is in it? This smells delicious. Oh my goodness. And what I want to do is <clears throat> I'm going to put the paper in here and I'm going to leave it. And so by the end, I'm going to see if they smell different. Do they smell the same? And tell you my favorite. Oh, that another 13. And look how big my bottle is, guys. My bottle is a nice size bottle. The packaging was excellent. Now, this one was a little pricier than the Tiziana one, but look how much more it gives you. Next, Bergamot 22. So let's try this one out. Bergamot 22. So why am I doing a no buy? Well, I'm so sick of spending money. And 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 not only not just cuz I lost one on the cruise. <laughs> cuz I did, baby. I I noticed that I was just spending money. I was just why? Um enjoy the 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 stuff that I have. I have a lot of stuff and I haven't enjoyed it. And it's, I'm telling you, everything is revolving around me trying to enjoy. Enjoy the moment. So even though I went and I showed you a part of my time with my family, I only showed you a snippet. I enjoyed the moment. My cruise, I'm going to put this together. I'm going to put the video together. But it's not going to be a long, drawn-out video where I'm describing the entire ship in every as aspect of my room. I showed you and I'm going to talk about it, but I enjoyed it. I was in the moment. And I want to show you things and show you snippets of my life, but be in the moment at the same time. And it's so important right now for us to be in the moment. Okay. So for this one, the Bergamot 22... This reminds me of something I would wear as definitely to me as something I would wear during the day. I would wear it as a work, as a work scent because it's that strong. It's like a fleeting smell. It's like I, I went past you. The next one is Rose 31. So let's see about this one. So 
So how do I feel about turning 59? It's people at my job talking, oh my God, I'm turning 30. I'm like, really? Um, I'm glad to be here a little bit. You know, I'm not giving up. Um, just because I'm 59, I'm not saying, okay, it don't matter no more. Let me just eat, drink, do what I want. No, I'm still, I'm not doing that because I still want to look a certain way. So you're going to see me work out. We're going to be talking while I'm working out. Um, so you're going to be more involved with me doing things. This smell like a, this Rose 31 definitely smell like something that I would wear to bed. I, Santal 33 is just what I thought it was. It smells like pickles to me. It smells like a dill pickle. It smells like a dill pickle. It smells like, um, you know what it smells like? Um, a store, a place that sells a corner store. Not a, not a nasty corner store, a good corner store. One that's been around. I guess that's why they say it smells like New York. It smells like pickles. It smells like, um, um, It smells like stores. It smells like um, a neighborhood. It does. That's what it reminds me. It reminds me of when I was the candy lady. So all the bottles, like I said, see? Matcha 26. I hope you can see that. Okay, this one smells a little more sexier. This one smells like something I would wear in the evening. Not going out partying or to a club, but going out to dinner, going out uh, with friends. Not nothing uh, dressy, but we all getting together and we going out and um, we making an evening of it. I kind of like it. Last, the Nior 29. This is another one that I've heard of. So let's talk about this Centile 33 on my skin. It still has that that dill pickle smell. That is potent. I feel like mixing it with something sweet. I definitely am gonna experiment with these with a sweeter perfume to see how it turns out. It, none of them are has something where I say, oh, you wouldn't catch me dead with that smell. None of them smell like that. <coughs> okay, the last one is the New York 29. So let's see how this does. And sometimes I like mixing scent houses together. See what scents will go together. Um, if they have one that's sweet and, you know, outside of the other ones none of these are sweet so i would never mix any of these together this is strong this this neor 29 this one is a little stronger it has a licorice smell to it this one is my least favorite It's that liquor smell. I'm interested to see how it would smell on the skin. So I'm gonna put this one on my skin and I'm going to um, 
let it dry down on the paper. It has that licorice smell to it. It smells a little manly to me too. Yeah, this is my least favorite of the smells, uh, but I'm interested to see. So I'm glad I bought it. And my favorite, and I can tell you right now, is going to be this another 30, another um, 13. Let me see how I did on the dry now. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, if I am going to buy any one of these Lalabo scents, it's going to be another 13. Another 13. That I just cannot wear you know it will go into my humid my um humidifier one the one that um my um mist and let it be a room scent nothing goes to waste nothing and that is what i'm talking about nothing is going to waste 2023 i'm getting rid of what i'm not using get rid of people that you're not talking to get rid of those that you're not doing the negative energy in 2023. And that is for food, people, things. If it has no purpose and no meaning and no use in your life at this time, it needs to be cut loose. And sometimes you can cut loose and come back. So it needs to be cut loose. So, if you stayed this long, thank you guys. And as I said, please like and subscribe. Come back and see me. Sorry I've been gone, but your girl was sick. She was towed down to the floor down. So, let me leave with my scripture as always. That is not going to change. So, either you stay to read it with me or you don't. It's up to you. But if you want to fellowship with me, I'm here. So what I'm talking about today, feeling stuck. It, it just all comes forefront of what I was talking about. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. And that is from Habakkuk. See, this is when you don't read the Bible. We feel, maybe we feel stuck in our everyday lives. A job that doesn't utilize our gifts. A relationship that's more take than give. A habit that's edging toward addiction. That's what I was feeling like buying all these clothes and shoes and stuff. Am I addicted? What's happening? Unlike that snow-covered freeway turn parking lot, there is a direction to turn when circumstances have you feeling boxed in. Turn your face toward the Lord. Let him fill you with the strength to move. And that's what I ask for, the strength to move. Time with family, time with friends. You got to make the time for it before there's no more time. Thanks, guys. Bye.